Hey, I'm Charlie, I'm painfully uncool, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Breed Out the Weird Challenge. So, we're on to part 3 of the Breed Out the Weird Challenge, and we currently have little toddler DeAndre, who clearly still has his mother's green skin and red eyes. Other than that, he looks kind of cute. I mean, we have to wait for him to grow into his features to see if he's going to get that hideous nose of hers. So off camera, I have redone this entire house. Uh, <laughs> no, I actually went on to the gallery and downloaded um, this house. Yeah, this is the house. It's called A Cottage and Attic by Honey Days. And it is, well, it's beautiful. I had to change it up a little bit. I had to rearrange uh, the house. I had to change where the house was situated, etc. But here we are. This is the house. We have a nice modern kitchen for Elfie and DeAndre. Then somewhere where they can sit and watch television, relax as a family. There's a place over here for reading and listening to music, which is quite nice. And we have a downstairs bathroom, which for some reason has some gourmet fruitcake in there, um, <laughs> which I didn't put there, so that's funny. Then we have just basically an attic bedroom for Elfie. Very, very open plan. Um, an upstairs bathroom. It is a little kooky and a little bit weird, uh, especially because this furniture doesn't really match anything at all. But, you know, it, it's cute. It's cute and it, I think it's very elfy. So you might be wondering, well, where in the world is DeAndre going to sleep? Well, if we come this way, you can see this little hideaway above the swimming pool. And basically, this is DeAndre's room. Well, the kids' room. So, you know, when the parent just wants a little bit of time, a little bit of space on their own in the house and the little attic bedroom, well, this is where the kids are going to live. And I think it's super adorable and it's going to help the kids be really independent. Um, I added a couple of kids toys things into the uh, backyard and there's a place where Elfie can get a bit of a green thumb not that we want her to get any more green so currently Elfie is at work and DeAndre has a babysitter I think it might be a good idea to learn the basic needs oh no quick uh -oh. yeah uh oh quick nanny quick come there's a crazy person on the way Oh my goodness, can I get up these steps? Oh, thank God I can get up those steps. I was about to start freaking out because this dude was coming towards my child. No, thank you. Um, if he took... Yeah, let's close those gates quickly before Mark Price sees us. And there's another scientist there. And we look like a little alien. He's looking over here. Go away. Go away. We're just living our best life. Yeah. So when Elfie comes home from work, we are actually going to age up DeAndre to an adult and we're going to try and find him a girlfriend. I think it's just so cool that because he's an iBot, he has battery life and a fun bar and that's all he needs. That is all DeAndre needs. He is a fabulous child. I think we might just make all our children iBots, honestly. Okay, Elfie's home and she has been promoted. Oh, fantastic. Elfie has been promoted to specimen living. Thank God. She will now make an additional, great, zero smolians per hour for a grand total of zero smolians per hour. She has also received the following bonus, 840 smolians. Ah, yes. So, you may have noticed that Elfie has gain some money um <laughs> yes i cheated to get her this beautiful house but in all fairness her storyline she's just a sad sad woman and she now has a child she needed a little bit of help and she has a job that pays nothing absolutely nothing we're going to 
play with DeAndre oh, just for a little bit and then we're gonna come in we're going to dismiss this lady she was a good nanny she was fine she looked after my child and then we're going we're going to cook we're gonna bake a cake I think DeAndre would like a hamburger cake and we're gonna finally see what he looks like as an adult oh my oh my gosh they're absolutely adorable why is the nanny flirty why is she flirty she just knows she knows that Elfie is a passionate lover you pepped her fella balloon no me sir 100 simoleons you barely did anything with my child all you did was sit down and read him flashcards about basic needs personally i don't think that's 100 simoleons worth right so we're gonna bake this cake so, so. <laughs> and then how's elfie's needs doing she's tired so we'll age up deandre Grinza. <laughs> and then we will go to bed <laughs> oh here he is the birthday boy the beautiful birthday boy has come to watch mother make the cake <laughs> absolutely terribly does this woman do anything well where's he going what's he doing he's gonna come and babble to mum that's quite cute really he wants to watch Terrell no no Terrell's out of the picture now the are independent woman who's just put the cake in the fridge when we wanted it out on the counter and let's add some birthday candles no it's not bedtime yet Elfie all you did was poop and sleep through your pregnancy. It's time for some fun. Sooner. Okay, so we oh are no. going to help DeAndre blow out his candles. And we can see how adorable he's going to look. Hopefully really, really cute. Hopefully he stops being green between toddler and teenager. Uh, nope, I can see in the bottom left hand corner that he is still green. He's still green. Okay. Let's maybe make him creative. Yeah. And let's just take a quick look at DeAndre as a child before we age him up. I mean, his nose still looks normal. His eyes are still red, however his smile doesn't look so bad on him so we're gonna come make him blow out the candles that's it deandre just walk through the counter whoa look at him suave italian green gentleman okay so i think we're going to make him Ooh, beguiling sims can put anyone in a flirty mood with just one luck or oh alluring sims are more successful at romance than others let's do that for him and let's give him the family trait successful lineage ah, <laughs> yes right we need to do this one more time <laughs> elfie's just up and left gone to bed her and terrell actually had a lot in common and let's make him self-assured Woo! So DeAndre. I think we need to do a little bit of a makeover. <gasps> you haven't got your mother's nose, but you have her chin. Oh no, look at that chin. Okay, so we haven't successfully bred out the weird yet. Okay, so I'm going to make DeAndre just come and change himself up a little bit. Uh, I'm allowed to change his hair, as far as I'm aware. Uh, his hair and his facial hair, that can be changed. And his outfits. But I'm not allowed to change anything that, you know, you wouldn't necessarily easily be able to change on yourself. Whoa. Okay, let's have a proper look at him. He looks like a pickle. <laughs> right, let's give him a new hair. Not something like this. Oh, I like that one on him, actually. 
So he's not really looking too bad apart from the chin and the green. So that's all we've got to change. It's not it's not a big job. I genuinely thought he had a moustache though. I don't think I actually want to change his clothes. I think I'm going to keep him just as he is. No, we're going to keep him like this. We are. We're going to keep him. I just wanted to change his hair because that hairstyle was horrendous. But now that DeAndre is an adult cyborg <laughs> let's send him out let's send him out um he's gonna go out on his own i don't think mummy and daddy should be coming along for this tr particular trip as he is gonna go to the bar and he's gonna try and find some women now this is gonna be slightly different when deandre finds a woman to have a baby with than when his mum had him because we actually <laughs> need them to fall in love and move in together so that we can take control of the child's life basically uh, but then you know once the baby's born we can oh. move the mum out <laughs> that sounds really harsh but let's come and talk to this lady Clara Newell so a friendly introduction to her that's an elder I do believe yes Oh, but Rebecca Erickson, we could come and talk to her. Yes, she's pretty and she doesn't look to have much of a chin, so that's good. Uh, this lady also looks pretty good. So let's just do some friendly interactions. And become... Who is that? Oh, I like her. Stella Ebert. We're going to have to come and talk to her. We need to come and talk to Stella. I think she may be the one. There's a lot of military personnel in here. I'm worried for my life. Okay, so now we can come and talk to this lady and just become her best friend in the entire world. And then maybe go in with the romance, ask if she's single. He seems to really enjoy talking to Stella though, so hopefully, hopefully she's single. She is single. Good. <laughs> oh no, did she not like that? Oh dear. Okay, so Stella has just left the bar. But everybody seems to be single. This is going quite well. Oh, Stella's back. Right, well let's keep talking to Stella because she is... I mean, she is technically the prettiest girl at the bar. This girl's got cool hair. Let's if she's single. Because she's, she's also very pretty. Try and flirt with her a little bit. Tell her a funny joke. <gasps> no way. Could you imagine if we managed to date Brittany Cho? Let's just... Yeah, we're self-assured. Let's just... We, we would try and talk to her. Oh, she's a bit of a party animal. Let's just try and flirt with these girls. No, it's not going well. It's not going well with them, so let's just ditch that. They obviously are not interested in us. And let's try and talk to Brittany Cho. Oh no, he's freaking out. Come on, let's attempt an introduction, DeAndre. You got this. Nobody's interested, DeAndre. Oh, who's this girl? Oh, this is Clara Newell. Okay, Clara's really cute, so... Let's just uh, keep talking to Clara. We <laughs> should just try to flirt. Do a gloomy compliment. Oh, she liked that. Oh no, she, oh no, she didn't. Oh, this is so awkward. All right, so Stella's back. I just want to become really, really good friends with her. Okay, so we've just learnt that Stella is a snob, 
and a genius. Yes. Oh, our dad's here. This isn't awkward at all. In his strange plum hat. An unusual outfit. Oh, she's actually gone in for the hug. Well, that's good. Maybe we can actually compliment her appearance now. But I am enjoying talking to Stella. Maybe we should flirt with her a little bit now. Let's see how that goes. Oh, she actually took it quite well. Let's try another flirt then. <laughs> oh, she didn't like that though. Oh, oops. Flizza. Oh no, it's all going wrong again. Oh, she's really, really hard to get. So I hope she makes beautiful babies. Oh, he's talking about children. Like, hey, so I'm doing this breed out the weird challenge, and I think your uh, your genes could breed out the weird. So. Oh boy, look who's here, Katrina Caliente. Should we introduce ourselves? I mean, I think she'd go for us, wouldn't she? Surely. We all know what Katrina Caliente is like. So uh, so. Katrina is single. Okay, so what if we give her a pickup line and flirt? Compliment her appearance. But she, oh, she doesn't like that. Okay, so this was a very, very unsuccessful mission. Clearly, it is a lot harder to get a girl pregnant than it is to get pregnant. Yeah, so I think with that, we're going to call it a day. I'm going to send DeAndre home to get some sleep. And we're going to call his night at the bar a massive flop, unfortunately. Where the heck has DeAndre gone? Wow, he's at the iBotch charge station. Okay, so just me and you, Alfie. Just me and you. And you're going to pee yourself again. <laughs> How is this such a problem with you, girl? You need to go to the doctor or something. Oh, and DeAndre is back from the recharge station. So with that, I'm going to end this part here, guys. And hopefully in the next one, next Saturday, we will send DeAndre out and he will be more successful. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel. It really does mean the world to me, all the support I'm getting. And I also link all of my social media, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram down in the description below. So, you know, go and check that out. I will see you for an all new uh, Minecraft okay. Monday in a couple of days. And have a fun weekend, guys. Goodbye. Yeah.